In today's video, I am going to touch on just a couple of techniques you can use with just cardstock. Here's a look at the layout that I'll be making, showing you how to kind of get that thatch look as well as use some of the brand new cardstock borders. Now, this layout and video is part of the fun ideas using cardstock video collab with the creative design team for this for month. today's video, I am going to be documenting um, one of the many times our daughter uh, read in the car. These are older photos. I found them. If you remember a few months ago, I kind of did a challenge where I didn't do any new, new photos. These are some of those that I pulled out, but I didn't actually get to document. So I'm going to use these. And like I said, the theme of this week's collab or this month's collab is cardstock. I have three of the colors of the exclusive cardstock borders. So I have Sundance Lagoon and Candy Apple. And probably won't be using the Candy Apple, but I'm going to try and fit in the Lagoon because she's kind of got this blue in her shirt that kind of mimics Lagoon. And then she's got yellow pants on. Now, even though, even though those yellow isn't really Sundance, I think the Sundance is going to lend itself well to the die cuts and the stickers that I'm going to use. But you get, you can either choose which colors you want. Like I said, I only got three. Or we have a big, huge bundle as part of the cardstock carnival. So you can see all the shapes. You get two of each of these borders. And these are 12-inch borders. So they're going to work really well with scrapbook pages. Or you could even cut them down for cards as well. And then I just kind of searched for books and the stamp set I really wanted to use it's not available so I wanted to use something that in, get, in case you guys are inspired you can click on the link below and shop it and so I've got Cozy Up. Now Cozy Up came out last summer it's kind of odd for US because it, the, the colors are very autumn but you can see here I'm going to concentrate mainly on the books so it's got so several stacks of books. It's got this little um, glass sticker, glasses, and then it's got this kind of pennant right there. And then in the scrapbooking kit, they come with exclusive die cuts. And I'm really liking this oversized title right here. I've also pulled out cardstock, again, to kind of lend itself with my photo. Don't, don't, don't pay attention to that. That's the sketchbook I'm going to be using. But those kind of lend itself really well with the photos. You've got the, the taupe, the toffee color of the inside of our car, and then you've got the colors of her shirt. And then I'm going to actually use some books that I cut using the Cozy Up Digital Collection. I always, when, whenever I'm doing Cricut cuts or thin cuts, I always like to cut extra. And in this instance, it's really going to help me out. It's going to go by really fast. So we've got shortbread and then some pages. And I don't know if I'll use the harbor backing or if I'll find something else for those. But I'm going to clear all of this off. And then we can start assembling this layout. Again, I'm using one of the sketches from our 12 by 12 CDT sketchbook. And you'll be able to grab that sketchbook in the links below as well. The base of my layout is going to be White Daisy, and then I'm going to fill in with other colors of cardstock and, of course, those stickers. One thing I love about cardstock is um, if you use our color cardstock, you've got the white core. And y'all have seen me here before sand it and sand, I mean, uh, score it and then sand it, and that white core pops. On this one, I'm going to actually score it and then ink over it. It's going to have kind of a look like stenciling, but it's going to have that texture. So I think my photos are going to go about right here. I've got this on my score pal. You can use a cutter, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to want some score lines up in the top left corner and then over here to frame this right photo. Now keep in mind that I want the raised edge to show. So I'm actually going to flip my score lines and I'm going to be scoring this top right corner and then frame the left picture and that way when I flip it over to color to ink over those raised lines of the score marks I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping that that's going to work so again my photos are going to kind of be right here so I'm just going to start right here and make a few scores and I'm going to make them 
not uniform. Some are going to be longer, some are going to be wider apart, things like that. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then here's where the fun comes in. I'm actually going to flip this and we're also going to make some score marks going the opposite direction. Again, no rhyme or reason. Starting in random places, some close together, some far apart. So I think that is going to work. So do you see those raised score marks? So the color I'm going to concentrate on in this photo is this lagoon. And I'm just going to take my ink pad and I am going to lightly run it across here. Let's start right here where my photos are going to be. Should have left my glass board on my table for this purpose, but I didn't. And then since there are some that are actually touching, I'm going to go ahead and make that look like it's on purpose. So I'm going to bring those colors in from the sides and the corners. I don't really need to worry about the bottom because that's going to be hidden with more cardstock. I am liking that so far. I'm going to bring out my score pal again and then honey butter cardstock. Now I've got the true color down and the light side up and I'm just repeating that same pattern. This piece is going to go at the bottom of my layout so it's going to bring that pattern from the top to the bottom. Now instead of inking this up I am going to sand it and you'll be able to see that white core of this close to my heart cardstock pop. And then I'm going to use a lint roller to just remove some of that cardstock dust, not only from my cardstock piece, but from my workspace as well. Now this piece goes at the bottom and then I'm going to have two additional strips of cardstock. Now nothing is happening to these cardstocks and actually these are the colors from the Honey Bunny. I just thought that they would be nice little pops and I am going to actually have additional colors brought in to help those out. This is the book from the Cozy Up Digital Collection, and I am just inking around those pages as well as that uh, book spine, which I did decide to keep the harbor. It's a nice little blue, and it'll pop with the stickers. But I'm inking with toffee ink around those, just kind of add some distressed look. And then I'm taking one of my favorite stamp sets. This one is retired, but it has these little words on it. So I'm going to ink that up in toffee and stamp across these two top pages. Now to assemble these pages, I'm going to use two depths of 3D foam tape. I have thin 3D foam tape, and then I have just kind of your regular dimension. And I am going to actually add liquid adhesive to the center of these pages. And then by adding thin 3D foam tape, it's going to allow me to add additional foam, foam tape to the rest of the pages without adding a whole lot of bulk. Now this liquid adhesive will actually make the pages pop a little bit more. And then for the other pages, I'm actually going to use some thick or, you know, your regular dimensional foam tape and then some thin. So the thick will be on the outside of the page and then the thinner 3D foam tape will be toward the center of the page. Again, this is going to give the same look that my liquid adhesive gave on the center of those pages. I'm going to attach these to that book spine and that harbor. And then I am going to attach the top pages. I love this book when it's done. It's just something I made a layout using a whole bunch of these book pages. And it's just something that just those Cricut cuts, those books, if you are a reader, head on over and get this digital collection. There's just so much that you can do with these files. 
I'm going to set that aside and then start working on my photos, the title, and then of course decide which stickers to use. I am going to put some of those stickers onto my anti-static pouch just so I can take the sticky off of them. Now these borders, I love them because they too have a dark side and a true color side. For that middle piece of cardstock, again, this that cardstock's from Honey Butter, no, Honey Bunny. <laughs> I keep saying that, Honey Bunny. Um, and I chose that color because it's just a good backdrop for this lagoon. Remember, I wanted to use lagoon because of her uh, her shirt. And I just thought that that would just go a whole lot better than just stark white behind this heart border. So I've added some 3D foam circles to the back of those. And then I'm going to attach that down and then take a look at the photos. Now the photos will overlap, but they still are going to have 3D foam tape on them because they are also going to overlap that heart border. Here's where I had to use some of the 3D foam tape from the roll. I use everything here, everything. So I'm going to add adhesive to the back of the, that so it'll stick down. And then as far as my title goes, it's just a little bit too big for my liking. So I'm just going to take my micro tip scissors and trim off between an eighth and a quarter of an inch from the top and the bottom. And that's going to allow it to be a little bit thinner and then fit in behind those photos. Usually on my titles, I do like them to go over, but we have so much of that honey butter at the bottom. I felt like if those were behind the photos, it would look a little bit better. Now this is the Sundance cardstock borders. I'm using the light side, so it'll look a little bit more like the honey butter at the bottom. And then I've just cut those and tucking those in behind the left and the right side of those photos. As far as my book, I'm going to pull out those glasses as well as a heart or two. And then I'm going to end up adding some 3D foam behind those glasses. And I'm going to use just a little bit, little pieces of those, and then attach that to that Cricut book. I love, love, love this look. Um, in fact, I'm actually wanting, I have enough of the Cricut cuts to make two more books, but I really just want to go over to my Cricut and cut a whole bunch more. So this is also going to have some 3D foam tape behind it. Um, I told you that this layout is going to be very dimensional. And then I can come back in with some of the more, uh, some of the other stickers. I immediately knew that I wanted to use some of these books. Now this border is a thick border and it's just got too much of the white at the top. So I am trimming that top off and then I'm going to attach that to the bottom of this layout. And then I'm also going to come back and I'm going to trim some more books and actually add that to my anti-static pouch after trimming it because I think I'm going to add 3D foam tape to these books. Now these books have a mist color which just is not working well with the photos, the colors. So I'm actually using the Ice Blue Blend Tri-Blend Marker and coloring over those mist book spines. And I really like how that's blending a whole lot better with the Lagoon in this layout. I'm going to go ahead and add 3D foam tape to the back of these books and then I'm going to take a look at several places that I want these. So originally I wanted them down at the bottom to kind of have that stacked look but I just couldn't get it the way I envisioned it in my head if you will. So now I'm going to move those books up toward the top keeping in mind that I want them to the left and I end up really liking them above that left photo. So I'm gonna straighten that up and really make sure that those are secured. And then I'm going to come in with some of these dots. Now these dots are from the Honey Bunny collection. They were in stock um, a few days ago, so hopefully they still are. And then I am going to add some stamping. Now I did pull out Mocha ink. This is the Operation, St Operation Smile stamp set. And the reason I chose Mocha is because the Just One More Chapter has some Mocha in it, as well as some of those books on that border sticker that I used. So I thought by using the Mocha, it would bring in just another element. 
So I've stamped happy and then I'm going to come back in with you make me. Now my happy was just a little bit too juicy. So I'm going to pull a scratch piece of white daisy cardstock out and re-stamp that happy and then fussy cut that out and add some 3D foam tape to the back of that and actually lay it over the already stamped happy. And then that way it doesn't bleed so much. There is just one last thing to do for this layout and that is to add somewhere for me to journal. I have our journal strip stickers out and I like to trim those. So I've trim, trimmed three of them at six inches and two of them at five and then 10. And then that allows me to kind of stagger the lengths across the bottom portion of this layout. And then I can just write on those whenever I am ready to journal. If you are new here, I usually add my journaling after the videos and the still shots. And that way I can add details that I don't really want all over the internet. Here are some close-ups of those layouts and those details using only cardstock. Don't forget that this month is the cardstock carnival. I'll leave links down below to that as well as any of the links to the products that I used. And then also this is part of the creative design team monthly collab. So you can click on that CD playlist. It'll take you to all of our 2024 videos as well as hit that subscribe button if you are new here and liked what you saw. Thanks and y'all have a wonderful rest of your weekend.